So that's my decision today. Whether to I'm gonna go I'm going to Lair, Hoppy Town the Waves, Nerves, um basically go the same distance both ways. Uh, I just need to work out which way I can follow the um the GTJ which is the Grand Traverse Dura or I can follow the GR5. Decisions, eh? Gonna get something to eat and think about it. So, um, the GTJ, which is uh, what I'm partly following on this route. You can see it's hiking, cycling, mountain biking, horseback riding, skiing, snowshoe hiking. Very well organised. Even some in English as well, that's quite rare. Here, yeah. bonjour. Okay, so, good way into the day to walk now. So um, I chose, there's kind of three routes, and I chose the actual um, pilgrim route through to Rome. <laughs> I could have gone, it's slightly more direct, um, it's still the same climbing, but um, I just want to make sure I get into a proper campsite today, and you know, I need a shower and stuff like that, so kind of in a bit more of a hurry to get somewhere so the only thing is so it's not marked at all this really I mean I've got it on my app but there is like a footpath supposedly just up there but every time I've gone up and looked it's just no one ever walks it it's just totally overgrown it would be a nightmare so um, but I'm hoping that just down here there um, it kind of joins a quiet road I mean this is fine to walk on but it's not ideal so I've got the road there and you know it's quite hard on your feet walking on these rocks so um but yeah anyway it's been okay you know it's i've been sipping along at a good pace so all good so this is um a little shelter that's come at a good time <laughs> there's some definitely some wet weather coming in there i'm actually quite close to the campsite but it's just no point getting soaking wet and it's still quite early. It looks quite bright behind that so I'm hoping it's going to brighten up. It was meant to be okay today but it's been a bit damp but there we go. Welcome back guys. So there's a the camping. I was praying it would be open. I couldn't really find out online their booking system was uh, had the 2019 dates in. <laughs> Um, but I can see tents, so, and I can see spaces, so that's good news. I just have to hope they're not booked or anything silly. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, we'll see. I'm optimistic. Ooh, excitement. I got a good camp spot in the um, little campsite. Really nice, very friendly, 11 euros. Probably show you later. And uh, there's an Intermarché supermarket, which is just bliss. <laughs> Can't tell you how happy I am that one's like, it's only a kilometre walk, so I'm um, going to stock up on fruit and lots of goodies now. Good morning, guys. Bonjour. So leaving my camp space here that's been home for two nights. Very nice little campsite. Very quite basic, but nice all the same. So... Yeah, looks like it's another hiker there. So heading out today about 25k I think. Gonna try and get some food now and then um yeah and first day for a while I've seen the sun. So that's good. At Le Petit Balgon. Views would be great if it wasn't for the JCBs. <laughs> Could have taken a ski lift up here. Pretty steep section. <laughs> Lovely view up here. I could have just taken the lift, look. <laughs> oh, that was quite a climb. Can't, I think the village is... I'm not sure which one it is, but... Panoramic view all the way around. I think we're heading over to that spot next.
Welcome back guys to, so I'm, I think I'm in the Jura now, I'm out of the Dolbs, Dalbs, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, region and I'm just uh, a bit of a hike up hill this afternoon. Um, I haven't really filmed much today just because I just feeling a bit flat earlier, um, just been having problems with my pack uh, and yeah, the water is just a, a headache, basically. <laughs> literally, quite literally, if you don't drink enough. But, I mean, I've always got enough in the day, but it's just that, you know, I go past so many cool camp spots that I would camp at, but there's just no water source. So, you know, it, it, I'm carrying a lot anyway. Um, so, really, I'm, you know, you're kind of stuck to going from town to town, and then once you get to town, finding camp spots is... You don't want to go too far out of town because you want to go back in the morning to get more water so it's a little bit of a pain really um but it's just quite a dry area so but anyway um i shall continue today probably about six kilometers left hey guys uh to another day i've just climbed the most insanely steep route kind of down there you can't see the worst of it, honestly, but it was... <laughs> I'm not sure I ever went up somewhere so steep, but the hiking poles were really um, handy. And all the way up, I was just... Uh, there was a couple that walked down, and I felt more sorry for them going down, to be honest, without walking poles. But that was like something out of New Zealand. But, um, yeah, today I woke up feeling quite rough, actually. Um, I don't know if I have a cold or the hay fever is really bad, but... I did contemplate staying at the sheet I stayed at last night, but I just got this urge to push on really, so, and once I'd had a shower and everything, I, I felt much better. So I've got about 14, about 19 total today, kilometres to quite a major town, and um, it's right near the Swiss border, so I can make a decision then whether I kind of go over to the Alps, because I can pretty much do it by train from there, or whether I, I continue along here, so we'll see. Okay. So I took the decision to continue to the border. I crossed into Switzerland and then I took a train over into France and then a couple more trains to Chamonix where I would be based for a few days. Next plan was to hike the Tour de Mont Blanc. Join me on my next episode where I will start walking the Tour de Mont Blanc. Thanks for watching.